for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We will see what's coming up for the present. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy. Well, we got the Eight of Wands. And it's with the Three of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's showing that there could have been some things that were up in the air for you, or maybe for you and your person. So, you were probably frustrated and tired of waiting. But this Eight of Wands is actually, it's actually about needing to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you could do. And now decisions, they need to, need to be made by other people. So it's showing that nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force things because if you did, it would have backfired on you. So just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the risk. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. Now, it's with this Three of Wands. And so, you could have found that your finances, they were going much better. It probably felt like it was a time when your ship had finally come in. So, you were probably, probably feeling really strong with a good reason. And you could have experienced some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a positive way. Even if you don't work outside, even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So, what I'm getting is that the recent past energy, Three of Wands, clarified with this Eight of Wands. So, well, I'm getting a couple of storylines for you, Libra. It could have been a time when you felt like your ship had finally came in. You were looking ahead. There was expansion and growth. Could have been with your person or with a situation, some situation. So you have made a decision and you decided to go forward. But you were waiting on maybe communication. Yeah, and you couldn't really take that final step until you got the word. Some type of communication or discussion. You were waiting on it was coming. It was up in the air, but you knew you couldn't force it. You could not force it. You had to wait for for the information to come into you. But you knew when it did, it was gonna be really good because yeah, it would cause you to look ahead and you realize that you can expand and grow. Yeah. And, and you knew that it would make it would make you feel like you were going forward, or you needed to go forward, because you made a decision already. You're just waiting on that communication to come in. Yeah, so you you were playing the waiting game, the waiting game, in the recent past. For some of you, it was with your person, or it had something to do with you and your person. Yeah, maybe the both of you were waiting on something. And you knew that when it finally came in, <laughs> so many great things would happen. For the both of you, or just maybe for you. So that's a recent past energy. Okay, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. Well, we got the Four of Swords, and it's with the Strength card. Now, the Four of Swords is actually showing that you might need a break could be from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life, they might withdraw for a while, but the withdrawal is not permanent. Yeah, it could mean illness or time in the hospital. Now, those are just examples. Don't run with that. Those are examples of when you go away and you come back. So, it is going to be a sign to give people their space. You probably feel like you need some time and space to yourself. Maybe others are pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries or to just say no. 
On the other hand, when others say no to you, make sure you take them at their at to, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now to the strength card, which is showing it could be a time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship with a lot of kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear the outward things that'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you've got the responsibility. So try to conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So basically coming up, Four of Swords, clarified by the Strength card. So, Libra, whatever this was that you were waiting on, some news to come in, yeah, it must have caused you a lot of, oh, sleepless nights, that's what I'm getting. So, it looks like whatever you were waiting on to come in, it, it finally came in. But yeah, like I said, you have been through a lot. Some, like I said, maybe some, some sleepless nights or sleepless days. So now you just want to break. Yeah, you want to do like this man is doing in the Four of Swords. That card is above the word present. He looks like he went up to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him and four swords and one candle. Yeah. And he's gone to sleep. And he has the swords and his dogs there. Just in case anyone bothers him. He'll pull those swords out. And use them if, if he has to. Yeah, and he doesn't plan on coming back down anytime soon. He'll probably be there overnight. Because it looks like he lit a candle and put it in his shoe. So that's you. You need a break. I don't know what this was in the... Showing in the recent past, you were waiting on something. The, the Eight of Wands is about communication, so I'm... Whatever it was, it, it wasn't coming in fast enough. You were anxious, because you knew so many things would happen, so many great things would happen. For you, once you got this news. So like I said, you had been through some sleepless nights, now you just want, you want some sleep. You feel like withdrawing from the whole world and just closing your eyes. But you do come back. You come back down from the mountains. You come back down to reality after you get your break. And you, Some of you are going to ghost your person. You're just going to disappear because you just want some time alone. You want rest. This Four of Swords is about... It's about rest after a struggle. Yeah, but the good thing is that it's with the strength card. So, the strength card. Yeah, once you come back down from the mountains, you'll be, you'll be feeling like you're standing in your power again. There'll be a lot of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Yeah, if you're in a relationship, if, if this is a person that you, you've been going through this with, it's, the truth card is, is saying that the relationship will become stronger, more mutually supportive, and beneficial. There'll be acceptance, and there'll be patience, and compassion. So, yeah. Yeah, things, whatever that was that you, whatever that recent past energy was, you took a break, you come back to reality after the break, after the rest from such a struggle, and then things are, are wonderful. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be embracing life, or, or embracing your person again, so that's great. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We've got the Two of Swords. And it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, the Two of Swords 
that tells us that your partnerships are probably going somewhere well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business, but you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this will require a lot of communication. Just know nothing changes without effort. Now, to the Queen of Cups, which is showing a woman, she'll be really helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love, compassion to your work. And that's even possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things could be better in your working world. Or maybe just overall when you get this card in the reading. Then you're realizing, yeah, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, they're two of the very most loving energies in the tarot. Very loving. Yeah, so that's your challenge. Two of Swords clarified by this Queen of Cups. So, Libra, you got a new person coming in. If it's not a new person, if it's not a new person, it's somebody that you already know, or maybe the person that you're dealing with. They want to offer, they want to be loving and supportive for you or to you. They want to offer love. This Queen of Cups is about, about love. I don't know. I don't know who this is. Is this the person that you're with? Because so far, the reading hasn't really said much about you and your person. But then there's this, this Queen of Cups here. They want to offer you love, whoever this is. Like I said, maybe it's somebody that you already know. Could be your person that you're dealing with. Maybe somebody new. But I'm getting, because it's with the Two of Swords, it's got to be your person. Or someone that you know because the two of swords is showing that you're going to avoid and block this person. Yeah, you're going to block them. I don't know if they, maybe they had something to do with, maybe they had something to do with the, why you needed the why you needed rest after a struggle. Maybe they put you through something. Maybe they were part of that struggle. And now you just don't you don't want to deal with them or not at least not right now. Yeah, they could have been part of the struggle. So you avoid you block this person, but they want to offer you love. Whomever this is. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's your brother, your sister. Yeah, maybe it could be because sometimes, well, these readings are meant, my readings are meant to be love readings, but they don't always turn out that way. So this could be a friend or a family member or, or yeah, a brother or sister. They see that you've been through a lot. Just for your ship to finally come in, you had to wait. Yeah. So somebody's being loving and supportive. Maybe it's a new love. But you're not feeling anything right now. You just you just got out got out of resting. And you're ready to live your best life now. You're no longer waiting. But somebody's coming in to be loving, supportive toward you. But you avoid and you block them. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Well, I got the Seven of Pentacles. And so the Ten of Swords. Now the Seven of Pentacles, it can be about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account, with return, bank account returning money to you. Or figuratively, such as the investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you've sown. And this is positive. 
So you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along pretty well and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with. Or to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is actually showing that it could be a time where you might feel you need to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in relation to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, this is a pretty clear answer of no. However, you're going to have to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself. Trust the universe. So, Libra, what I'm getting is that Seven of Pentacles clarified with this Ten of Swords. So whoever this is that you, you're blocking and avoiding and they want to offer you love, whoever this is, they feel defeated. You know, you make them feel like the connection is ruined. They feel like they failed at trying to reach out to you. Yeah. They feel that something's not right. Why would you, why would uh, Libra block and avoid me? Yeah. So they feel defeated. They wanted to make it work with you. Because if you look at the picture of the Seven of Pentacles, the card above the word outcome, she's watering a plant. She had that plan ever since it was a little teeny tiny little baby. Now it's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are really dark and green and rich and healthy. It's because she gets up every morning to take care of it. And before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. And that's what your person wanted with you. Yeah, but right now, I don't, yeah, you didn't want to be bothered. Yeah, but your person, they really, really wanted to make, they were planning to make make it work with you. And they wanted to offer you a cup of love. But you block and avoid them. I'm picking up for a lot of you, they were a part of whatever struggle you went through. So Libra, that is the reading that I have for you today. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's going to pass. We're all going to get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone, this, like I said, it could be a situation. Yeah, so I can never sit enough, Libra. And thank you so very much for watching. Also, thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. It really helps my channel to grow. So thank you so much. Yeah, so please come back. And join me for the next reading. I hope to see you then. I hope that you have a great day. Take care. Take care.
ठीक है